Nick loves the girl in Canberra. He loves her not. Nick loves her. Come on up, lady. Uh, I'm going to talk to Ed Alice for a minute. Hi. You're, uh... Hi, honey. You're plucking a flower. I feel rather young tonight. Did you want something? Uh, just, uh... Is somebody renting the penthouse? I'm loaning it to someone as a favor. Is that a problem? No. Are you all right? Yes. In fact, I had good news tonight. Oh. Well, I'm glad you did. Because I had a little bit of trouble. And I had to fire Blake. Yeah, this happened. You were so devoted to Blake. Yes, I was. So why the turnaround? Well, you were right earlier. Blake has a very treacherous nature. You just noticed. Oh, maybe I just didn't want to. It's all very clear to me now. I was very grateful for everything that you did for me on the Packard deal, and I said that we could celebrate, but a light dinner or something. At a private location? Yeah, she invited me to the Springfield Inn. She said she didn't have any dinner reservations in the dining room, so she fixed it up to where we could have a meeting in a private suite. She said it'd be more efficient. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Then she had this whole thing worked up with a dress and the chandel, you know, the, sh the champagne and the candles and all of that. All the obvious offerings. What do you mean? Oh, don't act naive. It's the same thing Blake has been thinking and doing since she first hit town. Bedding Spalding. I know, you don't have to remind me. But I didn't know you considered that a, a firing offense. Wouldn't a simple no thank you have sufficed? <laughs> well, it would have, but... Lenny was there. Oh. <laughs> Blake just can't do anything right. Can well, she? she sent her off on this wild goose chase, and Lenny found out that she wanted to be with me and showed up and... Ruined Miss Blake's plans. Well, and Alex, I... I never intended to have an affair. But you were so confident you could handle Blake. Yes, in a business sense. I didn't expect it. I didn't know yes. that she... You did, Alan Michael. It's what comes of giving a stray too much hope. Yeah, I suppose so. It's very sad because I don't think that I can trust any Thorpes anymore. Good night, Alex. I'll check the security system before I turn in. Good. Honey, one thing has me curious. How did Eleni happen to show up at the Springfield Inn? Um... She was looking for Blake. I, I guess she didn't like the fact that Blake implied that she wasn't looking after Stavros. Well, that doesn't sound like Eleni running around town because Blake criticized her. Does she care that much what Blake thinks? Maybe she was mad about something else. What? Well, Frank put this notion in her head about business. About Spalding? Yeah, Eleni's concerned that Blake, uh, well, she wasn't entirely honest in the way that she helped me get the Packard deal, which is one of the other reasons I had to fire her. Yes. You had to, didn't you? But it's curious that Eleni would care so much about Spalding business matters. Frank must have really upset her. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. She was very concerned about my reputation, and, uh... Well, you know how hysterical Blake can get. But Eleni defended you. Yeah, she stood up for me. Aren't you lucky to have a wife like that by your side? You're right to treasure her. I will. See that you do. And remember, she's no fool. And Frank Cooper does not give up easily. You're going to want to tend your garden very closely. I know. Then you learned something very valuable today, didn't you? Alex, um... You know, everything that I do, I do for this family, don't you? Yes, 
I appreciate that. I'm very proud of being a Spaulding. Spaulding will do whatever he has to to prevail, won't he? Yes, he or she will. I like taking responsibility. I like being able to use power. It's an important lesson. But darling, don't try to do too much at once. You are going to help me secure my place in this family, aren't you? To be sure. Good night. Now, where was I? He loves her. <laughs>